And I know Jen down there in the end, uh, you collaborate with many of your friends that you have now, like Patrick, uh, Tyler, and some other people. How have they helped you to where you are right now in your subscribers? Um, collaborating with some of my friends has really like merged our subscribers together because yeah. um, we both have different viewers. So being able to make a video with them just got um, each other's viewers aware that we're out there and it just helped boost our um, subscriber count. You're like one of the younger ones here on the panel. So I'm sure there's other YouTubers here, aspiring YouTubers that are around that age. What can you give out to those people uh, that will help you out? Um, I don't know. Um, basically, uh, for collabing with people, yeah. uh, well, there's a lot of kids out there on YouTube. So, I mean, I've made so many friends from doing YouTube videos. You just have to go and like look. You can't be shy. You have to introduce yourself to people. Try to find people who um, maybe are similar ages to you, make similar kind of videos as you do, have the similar amount of subscribers that you do, and just introduce yourself to them. Awesome. And Joe, such a huge talent on the panel right now. Thank Tell you. us about yourself and your videos. And well, my name is Joe. I have a channel called Mystery Guitar Man. <laughs> yeah, I love collaborating because um, the I pick my collaborations really with, um, in the ways that will help me and help the person. You know, I consider myself uh, a good maybe cinematographer or director or. Uh, video editor, um, and I like to work with people who have complementary talents to mine. So, someone who's better at me, you know, who sucks less than me at least, <laughs> yeah, at something. So, I like to work with good audio mixers, good, uh, uh, you know, done things with Dave Storm before because he's a good musician, he's good at coming up with songs, I'm not that good. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I work with cinematographers who are better than me, and, you know, that kind of stuff. I always think that, you know, if you are working together with someone who is kind of like a puzzle piece, you can create something better. You know, not only just collaborate for the fact that if you collaborate together and then more people will see our, our videos, sure, it's always a nice thing, but you know, that way you can expand the amount of collaborations. You know, you don't only work with someone because they have a million subscribers, you work with someone because they're going to help you. Does it make sense? Yes, yeah, you know, a good example of that, I guess, could be like your that Mario video you had done a couple months ago. Did, did you actually know how to do all that first, or did it help working with somebody else that helped you out? Yeah, I, uh, I had my editor who uh, works with me all the time, and he helped me out a lot because he's way better at math than I am. Yeah. I was good at uh, coming up with, like, okay, so we need to figure out a way to turn the pixels into a Mario game into feet and inches and well I did centimeters because that makes way more sense. Yeah. Uh, you know, so we, we turned it into that and he actually did all the math, you know, because I would have messed it up all bad. So yeah, it's always good to, you know, pick the right people to collaborate with. Also it shows you how the uh, metric system is. Exactly. <laughs> Super important if you take anything away from this weekend. <laughs> metric system. <laughs> And Mike, actually, to you now, what, how has that helped you, like, collaborating? It hasn't. I don't really do it. <laughs> yeah? Uh, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing, and it's uh, a lot easier than people make it out to be. Yeah. Hey, Mike, would yeah. you like to do a collab? Yeah, sure. Awesome. It's that later. easy. <laughs> Seriously, that's, that's it. <laughs> and, uh, that would be an applause break in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Um, no, I mean, you mean, you, yes. You'd be surprised uh, on how easy it is, and just you know, if you want to collaborate with someone, just research them a little bit and see where, like, what you were saying, like people's talents mesh together, and it just makes sense. You kind of fit like a puzzle. I would. I'm just gonna say everything you say differently. That's a smart idea. And uh, yeah, that's my whole spiel. It's it's really easy, uh, and people are more willing to do it the, the more it makes sense for them. Definitely. Olga? Yes. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. So, uh, what about your experiences? It's my turn to have fun, it's my turn to have fun. It's here. Uh, I'm Olga Kay, and I do a lot of sketch comedy, uh, which gives a lot of room for collaboration. <laughs> Woo! Um, that's Jess, she's my ex roommate, so she always screams for everything I say. Um, so, uh, collaboration was a big part of my uh, starting, uh, starting, I want to say starting down, starting up on YouTube. It's up, right? No. <laughs> Welcome to the English. <laughs> I'm from Russia. Um, so when I started, I did a lot of collaborations and it helped a lot. Um, and the only advice that I would always give uh, the new creators is to collaborate with people your size. But like Joe said, uh, and everyone said here, it's all about the talent, it's not about the numbers. 
Because if you can do something together, people are going to see it and they're going to recognize it and they will follow your lead. And the people that are your numbers, they will grow with you and one day they're going to be a little bigger than you and then you're going to be bigger than them. And slowly you will grow and climb that ladder, I guess. And if you get lucky to collaborate with big people, then great. Uh, but I think it's like a slow process and it's just a constant, constant process uh, going up. Yeah, I get requests all the time for collaborations. Um, and the main issue that I have is that people go, hey, do you want to collaborate? And I go, well, can you enunciate, please? And, and yes, I do. Uh, what would you like to do? And they go, uh -huh, I don't know, whatever, man. And, and that's not the right you know, thing to say to, to someone who gets a lot of requests like that, because mm -hmm. if you go up to someone and say, hey, I have this video idea, and it's this and this and this, and I need you for this amount of time, and you know the video's going to go up on on this day. I'll be like, I'll be way more likely to say yes because you know you have an idea that I can say whether or not you know I want to do it. I can give you some input on the idea. Uh, not only you know like let's figure something out to do. That may seem like the best idea, but if you come up with someone with like I want to make a sketch about an elephant that wants to leave the room. Or something like that. And Joe has an elephant, so it's perfect. Yeah. So I have a set plan. Exactly. That's, I mean, that works. That translates with anything. If you come out somebody with something that you want, but you clearly have your shit together, right. that person's going to be so much more likely to want to help you because they know you're already working so hard for yourself. Yeah. So it's only going to help both of you. I compare like asking someone out on a date. This is the analogy I make. If you uh, if you ask someone out on a date, be prepared to. Uh, have some place to go. Like, hey, would you like to go out? Yes, I'd like to go out. You can go here and do this. And I think a lot of people they want to collaborate. Um, they're just, they just like, uh, you know, echo what everyone else says. They uh, they have really nothing to bring to the table. And it's especially if you want to collaborate with. I've been fortunate enough to collaborate with some pretty large YouTubers, but uh, and I'm no more for that. Um, no one knows here who's who I am, but no, don't worry. Um, you might see me some uh, other people's videos, but I, I happen to have a lot of a lot of different skills and I think if anyone's looking for like advice and if I can go back in time I'd say have a bunch of different skills because I can write and I could act and I can direct and I can develop and what I, I can't shoot and edit but I'm teaching myself that so I can become full service so I'll always be um, I consider myself relevant uh, by having a bunch of different skills and I'm Jason Horton. Um, <laughs> and I love collaborating with Jason because he's really easy to work with and also as creators, we get stuck sometimes with ideas, and if you have a, another creator coming in and he goes, here's what we can do. Oh, you, have, you were stuck here, we can change it like this, and you go, yes, finally, now we have a great idea. Now. I just surround myself with better looking and more talented people. You should also, if you're in a network, utilize that network. network. I mean, I'm the only non-talent on this board. My name is Russell, I work for Maker. Uh, I'm a part of network and channel development. So what that means is we have a small team working with partners on the ground level, thinking of ways to help you optimize and come up with creative concepts, right? So another aspect of that is to work with channels on coming up with ideas and figuring out who within the network would help fit that idea and concept. And if you're not strong in After Effects, maybe we know someone who is strong in After Effects. As Joe was saying, you know, it's working on a production is a giant collaboration. So taking ideas and elaborating on those ideas and taking areas where you're not that strong and dipping into a network where you can pull viewership from all different demographics and all different sources of content to give your content greater exposure. Yeah, Net and um, yeah, also being a part of a network is a good way to find people that you can collaborate with because I'm a part of a network, Awesome is TV, and because of that I got to collaborate with Lee Marie Johnson, which was a really cool experience and um, I made a really good friend from doing that too. So networks are like really helpful if you want to get yourself out there. Jason, in the beginning, you didn't even realize you were collaborating, no. right? I came from just doing live, like live comedy, live sketch and improv, and like doing stuff like Funny or Die and Upright Seasons Brigade. And then I met uh, Michael Gallagher from Totally Sketch. He's like, you want to be in a video? And I was in that video. And he's like, you want to do another video? So I'm in a video with like Shane Dawson and I, Justine. And I'm like, let me look these people up. And I'm like. These idiots have millions of views about eating a cheeseburger, and I was like, "This." And honestly, that's what I was like. And I was like, "How can I? How can I have some of that?" And uh, uh, I just started uh, just being. You know, if you're seen in a bunch of stuff, it's like it's a trick because you have it's like cart before the horse. It's like you have to get in stuff to be seen. But how do you get in stuff if you're not seen? And then I just happened and. And like I'm known for being in like in videos with Jenna Marbles and stuff like that. But I, when I was doing that, I was like, I don't know who Jenna Marbles is. I only know that I'm doing comedy. 
um, and I just want to uh, want to create. So I didn't realize until after the fact that I was actually collaborating uh, this whole time. So it was kind of a kind of a little reverse. So you're saying that your advice for collaborating is to not know that you're collaborating. <laughs> well, you know, what? I, I, you know, almost in a way, because if, it, if it's like if you're just like I want to do good work, I want to do good stuff. Um, if you put that first, I think um, the work will be better, and then the collaboration will just kind of be icing on the cake uh, at that point. I mean, that's a that's a good point. And on the smallest possible scale, I mean, I assume that almost everyone in here makes videos. I mean, you're your own production team, and it's just you, right? So it comes to the point where if you're like, you know, kind of busting your ass and doing what you need to do to, to gain a following and gain a crowd and stuff like that, you're going to burn yourself out to a point where someone else's ideas and opinions are only going to make yours better. Um, I didn't have anything after that. That's <laughs> going to be kind of trailed off in my mind. And they were right too. I mean, uh, having approaching a collaboration with a concept in mind is much easier for someone to buy into that concept because most of the time, you might understand the other person's content, but they don't know what you're doing. And to kind of show them what you'd like to do and to get them to elaborate on that idea just helps move the conversation forward. And maybe they won't bite on that concept, but they'll start listening to you and maybe give you some pointers to either do it yourself and create a repeatable programming segment, you know, uh, an upload segment you can shoot multiple segments at one time um, that can be a foundation for your programming. You know, and then they might actually approach you and say, that's a great idea and want to be a part of it. Also, um, in the beginning, when nobody knew who I was, I had 3,000 subscribers, uh, the best way for me, I never got into emailing people. I just decided to open five different credit cards and go to every single YouTube gathering and meet everyone in person. And I would come up to them, and I didn't have many videos, and I was really bad at editing and talking to the camera, so I would just come up to people, and I had business cards. I think I was like the only one back then with business cards with my YouTube all over it. And I would say, hey, I'm really good at juggling balls. <laughs> and they're like, what? Who is this girl? What is she talking about? And some people would look me up, and I became friends with a lot of people back in 2008. You know, there, there's people that say, like, how do you do it? Because I know nobody in YouTube. I know nobody that makes videos. So, off of what you said, what's the best thing you could say to somebody that says, I know nobody, what can I do? Have, have something to show them. Like, have, always have something to show them where you, can, where you can show exactly, instead of like telling somebody, oh, I'm really funny, I'm a really good writer, I can get a lot of views, whatever the case may be, this is what's great about YouTube is you can show those things, and they can see it by just one click, um, and, I, and I think that's what's so great about it. Oh, juggle balls. Yeah. But be good at what you do first. I, you know, if you're just like, oh, I want to get into YouTube, great. Let me think about collaboration. You should start by doing things that you that you like first that showcase who you are. This way, when you share that, um, people know exactly what they're getting themselves into. And they're like, great. It's like a, you know having a dating profile. I'm putting this back to dating, but it's like a dating profile. <laughs> and you know, have a picture of what you really look like from like this century and like list things that really interest you. Uh, yeah. you know, or you go on some bad dates. And collaborations. Boom. Jason Gordon is an expert at dating. Yes, he is. And that was also that was a great point. Is you always want to have something to show. Like people always want to help people that are first and foremost helping themselves. And so you know, if you're working really hard and making stuff you believe in, of course, you know, it, it makes sense. And people who are popping out on YouTube are really busy. So if you, you know, if you have that talent, and if you say something like, "I can finish this video," and it can be up to your standard or whatever it may be, they'll be very likely to work with you. That's. I don't think a lot of people. Some people realize it, but I don't think a lot of people realize how much time is put into these videos a week, depending on how many channels you have. So it would love to have that set plan, like you were saying earlier. That's more than like minutes. Yes. I'd also like to add to what he just said. I mean. Uh, YouTube is an extension of your brand, and it's about building your brand and identifying yourself, right? And that's really where it started, is to kind of create space between everyone else and you and the type of content you create. So if you can come to someone and say that this is what you're good at, and you can help them solidify their brand or create an extension of their brand and latch onto it, you create added value is what they say. So what is your added value? Maybe it's not viewership, but maybe you can bring some skill set to the table that they could really buy into. And look, if you have a great personality, they might actually be more inclined to help you or give you tips on how to grow in this platform rather than just say, your numbers aren't there, you really don't bring me added value. So it's about showcasing who you are. Are there any questions for these guys? When you're collaborating, is there such a thing as like a contract? Like you guys have to, within your networks, have to like 
include some sort of like guideline or something? I'm against all of that. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's all about friendships and uh, no. No Especially within um, your own network. Okay. Oh, the question was if when you're collaborating, um, do you ever draw up any contracts or anything like that? Um, I think that no, not for now. Uh, who knows? Maybe like for bigger projects, uh, you know, if you're collaborating in a big movie or something, that there might be some contracts in the future. But um, you know, especially within your own network or within you know just your group of friends, um, just keep it to you know minimal involvement and minimal. And agree to like just be like, oh, I'm gonna annotate to you, or whatever. Like, you're gonna annotate to me, and if you're somebody that like, and this has happened. I mean, I, I've collaborated a lot where people are like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna annotate to you, and I'm gonna work for free, and they don't do that. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna work with you again. Cause I'm not, you know, honestly, like I'm, you know, we yeah. had a deal, we made a deal, and uh, and then th that word spread. So you're, you know, have a good reputation, and you won't need anything like contracts between creators. You know, it also helps going back to the the way way back when we were all children. The whole um, if you don't annotate to me, you're not coming to my birthday thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've, I've burned so many bridges with that, mom. <laughs> And it still works. I've never been to your birthday. What are you trying to say? Well, I asked you to do that collaboration. You were like, oh, you bring nothing to the table. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? That was really good. Yeah. Um, my, my question specifically is for, for Jason. Um, you, you've had an opportunity to be in a lot of big uh, channels' videos. How have you spun that into stuff you do for your own channel? And how have you capitalized on your own channel off of those particular collaborations when you did them? Yeah, you know, I'm, uh, for my own channel, uh, you know, I, I, I've gotten a decent amount of views, but I mostly leverage, like, uh, I leverage my writing, like, you know, for a, one, uh, for Totally Sketch and Interactive, the Hub video is almost 100 million views, and I'm in that and I wrote that, so I can email that around, and, like, I, I've written commercials for companies based on those videos, or if I've done a video with Jenna Marbles, um, you know, people love Jenna Marbles, uh, you know, I can kind of prove what I could do, so I've gotten a little more out of it outside of my channel. My channel is just a place for me to do um, things I want to do, but a lot of my writing and stuff is stuff that I've done with other people, but I have something for everything. I have brand written stuff, I have, you know, dating -y type stuff, I have like really PG stuff, so I always have a link, I think. If somebody's like, hey, can you show me something like this? Yes, I have that, uh, and a lot of it's from my collaborations, and when there's a million is still a big number, even though you know everyone's like, oh, I've had a million dollars. We still say that because that number of million, uh, especially to a lot of other people, is still a lot, even though to to some of us, like, oh, okay, a million a million views is nothing. It's nothing to her. That's but for a lot of us, uh, it's, it's still uh, it's still a lot. So I leverage it. Uh, I leverage videos I do with other people um, more than I do my own channel. But my own channel, you know, I've gotten a little a little bit from that too. I saw another question back there. Yeah, you're right there. So how often do you all do your collaborations? As little as possible. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But when I started, I, I did a lot of it. But now, as Joe was saying, everyone is so busy. And I got to the point where I'm afraid to ask anyone to collaborate because I know they're just as busy as I am. But sometimes it happens. It happens. Every Sorry. Go ahead, Mike. I'm um, so, uh, <laughs> so, so Mike is saying. Just because they're talking. That's fine. I don't like to hear it. Um, <laughs> I, I completely forgot. I think collaborations keep you really relevant. Even if you're not making your own stuff like on the schedule you should be, if you're always kind of collaborating, you'll always have an audience somewhere else, so it'll still kind of keep you somewhat relevant. So even if you kind of fall off a little bit, when you jump back on, it's not like people have completely forgotten about you. And I probably shot about 75, 80 videos since January, January 2nd, and probably 70% of them have been collaboration. But that kind of keeps me, I think it keeps me kind of relevant uh, in that sense. So I'm always investing. A collaboration is always an investment. Uh, I think that's a great point. Uh, you don't have to do it on your channel to make it a collaboration, right? Just the point is to be seen as much as possible around YouTube and get familiar in the community so people start getting used to your personality and will follow you back to your channel. And don't think that being in a video is the only way that you can collaborate. I mean, there's a channel that I love called That19 and they are just a product company. They're an e-commerce site, but they will send product to channels and have them annotate back to their their channel. So it's a licorice stick or it's a muffin or a stuffed animal. But that's a way for them to collaborate because they don't have Sounds to be original and then it's delicious. Stuff. But like just that. think of creative ways to collaborate. You know, aside of collaborating with like individuals, collab channels are also a big thing. How did that help you, Jen? 
Yeah, um, when I first started out on YouTube, I reached out to a couple of people and I made some friends and we all got together and decided to start a collab channel. And basically, if you don't know what that is, it's a channel shared by a bunch of people and we all had a different day. So I posted videos every Thursday, and my friend Mac would post videos every Monday. And so each day, someone else would post and we have a theme for each week. And that helped me out so much because even though I wasn't making videos for my channel, I was really getting out there and I got like 30,000 subscribers from that and it was cool. I made friends that I'm still friends with now and that was like four or five years ago. So it's like a really good way to like make really good friendships and just get yourself out there. It's a very hippie mentality, kind yeah. of like a, like a collective type thing. Mine is the drugs. So <laughs> <laughs> just work together, man. Just make some stuff. Well, right? Mike, I would just think for me. Right. You know, like they were saying earlier that some ask, well, how do I collab with this one person if I don't know any YouTubers? How do you try out for like a collab channel if you want to be a part of that? Um, well, a lot of people have like auditions for collab channels. Like um, some kids, like if they want to start a collab channel, they'll just post a video of like, auditions and people will post video responses and like basically explain who they are, what they do. Um, or, I mean, if you have some other YouTube friends, you can just get together with them and start your own channel. So. We're almost out of time, but were there any more questions out in the, you're at the end. Um, just curious, how much is, does the, uh, the earnings <laughs> of the video, of the collaborated video, um, come into play uh, ahead of time? In other words, is there, is the discussion of rev share of, of what you finally make, um, does that inhibit like uh, the discussion about making something? Like I, I think it's sharing audience. I mean, in my, in my opinion, I don't, I don't ask for, I mean, unless I get paid for some reason, which sometimes I do. Uh, but uh, I, all I'm into in for it is like a, being a part of a good project. And honestly, like I want some of your audience that don't know who I am. Like I, I've done videos with Just Kidding Films and they're just all Asians. And so being one white guy with a bunch of Asians is like, if they like you, it's been amazing for me, and I was like, I don't need any, I don't need any money. Like, this is great because yeah, uh, the Asian community is very. Small. Yeah, so um, if you're Asian, I'll be in your video. <laughs> <laughs> I might be Asian. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. I, I have to take my glasses off. We'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, if YouTube made it easier to um, do a rev split, you know, maybe like from the CMS or something like that. If there's just like a button where you could do fifteen percent, that'd be nice. Yeah. Of, uh, I, you know, I, I think that's a really hard, when you start talking about money, I feel like it takes away from the uh, creativity, but what I always try to do is like, can we shoot two videos in one day? One for your channel, one for my channel, and let's upload at the exact same time. And that's kind of always what I, what I got for. I feel like coming at it, I'm, again, I just kind of, like, I'm a piece of shit. Don't listen to anything else. A little however say that. Um, when you're coming at it from like an artist type standpoint, it's like, I want to work with you because I know for a fact that we can make something good. And I feel like it's more of a, it, it seems to me like more of a company standpoint, you know, let's work together because we could probably make something that would get a bunch of views and we'll both get money for it. Like, um, you know, I'm lucky enough to, to host this show called Tweet Tap for Waywire and we have like special guests on all the time. And that's awesome because like our audience grows a little bit and they get to have fun and hopefully there's some overlap there and obviously some <coughs> channels are smaller than others and some channels help you know out more but I've done <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> the bigger channel. I mean, honestly, like, that's probably the best thing, right? Put the video on the, on the channel with the most subscribers, and, you know, they're going to get, obviously, what they're going to get out of it, and you're hopefully going to get some of the, you know, some of that traffic. You can do, like, alternate endings to yeah. a secondary channel, but the point is, if you have five people in a collaboration, you know, have content on all five, whether it's behind the scenes fo footage on one, a vlog on another, but they can all be driving to each other, but the main driver should be the larger channel, because if you can pull in viewership to one central place and it can filter out to everything else, it just has the best conversion rate. Or interactive, if you've seen interactive like, totally sketches and stuff like that, I, like I'll get some of the videos or, or whatever the case may be. Yeah, I really like doing two-part collabs because at the end you can be able well, click over here to go to the other person's channel and see the other video, and then the viewers just go to each other's channels and it's just a good way to 
Amazing. Everybody wins. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for coming on the panel.